Certified public accountants and executives are always invited to meetings. Meetings with clients or sometimes meetings with internal stakeholders like superiors or subordinates and peers. We're currently here at the beautiful Bellevue Signature Club. This is the VIP lounge of the Bellevue Hotel, Manila. In this area, we can find a lot of pampering, fitness, and meeting facilities for their VIP clients, those billeted at the suites and premium rooms. Come on, let me share with you some tips on meeting etiquette. Let's go. For meeting etiquette, tip number one is come before the time set for the meeting. If your meeting is 10 a.m., it's good to come at 9.30 or 9.45. Coming at exactly 10 a.m. is not good enough. Tip number two, come prepared for the meeting. Are you just a listener in the meeting or an ordinary participant? Make sure that you have read the minutes of the previous meeting. It's also good to have a copy of the agenda and be prepared to discuss some important points in the agenda. If you are an active participant in the meeting, like for example, you are going to present a report, then you must prepare your PowerPoint presentation and if possible, your written report to be distributed to some of the meeting participants. Notice of the meeting should be sent three to seven days earlier not on the eve. That's not good enough. Agenda should be disclosed when sending the notice so people can come prepared for the meeting. Agenda should be kept brief, maybe two to four items only for a one hour meeting. Then you can substantially discuss every item in the agenda. If you have 10 items in the agenda for a one hour meeting, your meeting is too cramped. You will not be discussing each item the agenda with quality. It's going to be a hurried meeting. Never put other matters in your agenda. This is going to be a Pandora's box. When the time comes and the presiding officer would say, okay, we're done with the last item in the agenda. Other matters, please. Believe me. All the participants might want to inject an issue or two. If there are 10 participants, your one hour meeting will not finish within one hour. Chances are you will go beyond one hour, maybe two, three, or even four hours. Then you have missed ending your meeting on time. And that's not very efficient. So never put other matters in your agenda. You may want to calendar those other items as a specific item in your next meeting. Just make sure that you calendar them correctly. Review materials, reports for the meeting. This is part of your preparation, so you can participate actively. Dress up appropriately for the meeting. If this is a very formal meeting, then you have to be in business attire. If this is one of your ordinary weekly meetings, you may dress down or your ordinary office attire. Observe protocol in the meeting, particularly in the seating arrangement. Typically, the chair at the head of the table is for the presiding officer. The next seats closest to the presiding officer is typically reserved for the assistant or the secretary or the scribe, the person who will write down the minutes of the meeting. Do not take the seats of these people, the presiding officer and the minute taker. Refrain from chatting with seatmates. Focus on the agenda. Turn off or put on silent mode your cell phone. You don't want to be disturbed during the meeting or get distracted if you are making a presentation. If you need to answer a call, excuse yourself quietly and take the call outside the meeting room. 
react or behave positively, not abrasively on issues discussed, particularly if you are in polarized opinions. If people do not agree on a particular matter, do not argue abrasively. You can discuss amicably the issues until they get settled. The worst things could be you have to divide the house. Wait for your turn to talk. Check out if the chair is acknowledging you to talk. Contribute to the discussions in a productive way. When food is served during the meeting, wait until the chairman or chairperson gives the go signal to partake of the snack or meal. It's not good when the meeting is going on and you alone are eating. It doesn't look nice. Don't sleep, yawn, or stretch out during the meeting. That is impolite. Ask pertinent and relevant questions only. Do not sidetrack the presenters. Do not humiliate them. If things are not clear, do not hesitate to ask questions or for clarification. Do not leave earlier than the set adjournment time. Don't hang out after the adjournment. Now, aside from meeting etiquette, Corollary to this is business presentation etiquette. In relation to meetings, there are occasions wherein the accountant or the manager or executive will be asked to make a presentation. Just like today, we are here at the beautiful Bellevue Signature Club. This is one of their meeting facilities. Meeting room number one, we have a huge flat screen television. There is a 10-seater conference table and a beautiful view of the Alabang skyline. What if you're asked to make a presentation today? What should be your proper behavior? Here are some tips. If you're making a presentation during the meeting, review your presentation slides. There might be some errors or typos. Check out the impact, the color, the effectiveness of your presentation material. Arrive 15 to 30 minutes earlier to set up. This way you can check out if there are certain paraphernalia that you might need from the technician or there might be some incompatibility issues between your projector and your laptop. Keep your slides professional looking. Check your attire, props, gadgets, and equipment. Observe maximum of eight lines per slide. Use only high-resolution photos or videos. Avoid too much distraction like in terms of animation. If there's no animation, that's even better. Have a good catchy introduction, something that will get your audience wanting to listen to you more. Greet everyone. Acknowledge the VIPs listening to your presentation. Thank the host or sponsor of the meeting. Decide where to stand while speaking. Just like I decide to stand here or I may decide to walk to my left or I may want to walk to my right. Wherever you're comfortable, just find your perfect spot. Maintain a good eye contact with your entire audience from left to the middle and then to the right and then back again. Manage your voice and pacing. Not too soft, not too loud, not too fast, not too slow. Watch your humor and anecdotes. Don't crack dirty jokes in your presentation. Never insult your audience directly or indirectly. Seek feedback at intervals and at the end of your presentation.